this morning off the Louisiana coast. Crews are going to try to do something that's been done before, but never at 5,000 feet below the uh, sea surface to cover a blown out oil well that is spilling thousands of barrels of crude a day into the Gulf of Mexico. Early show national correspondent Jeff Glor is in Venice, Louisiana with the latest. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Harry, good morning to you. As they try to move that dome, so many questions continue this morning for people living down here. When might the oil slick hit shore? And for BP, when will they stop these leaks? It may be BP's best hope, the containment domes, about 100 tons each, even though the first won't be fully operational until Monday at least. The four-story structure, along with a second to follow, will try to corral the oil still gushing at an estimated 210,000 gallons a day, then funnel that up through a hose into a ship waiting on the surface. The dome's arrival followed the successful capping of the smallest leak on the ocean floor by remote-controlled robots, but which has not decreased the volume of oil. We're fighting it on the surface. Through it all, BP's CEO remains remarkably we confident. It. We will prevail, we will fix it, and we will take full responsibility for dealing with it. What we need to be looking at is drawing our line in the sand. We might have to give up a few of these outer um, islands to cut it off. Local townships are not banking on BP. On Tuesday, one parish near New Orleans sent out a special rig with long anchor columns, allowing them to establish a mobile command platform at sea. There continue to be sporadic reports of oil particles hitting shore, but yesterday the Coast Guard said again that the main oil slick itself will not reach any coastline until at least Saturday. Harry? We keep our fingers crossed about that. In the meantime, talk about the difficulty of trying to pull off what BEP is trying to do by putting this dome down. It's 5,000 feet below the surface. It's, it's fascinating and it is so difficult. As you mentioned before, it has never happened at anywhere near this depth. These containment domes have worked before. But remember, you're putting something that's 100 tons, 5,000 feet down, remotely operating it, hoping that it drops in the right place, mm. and then hoping that oil comes up right will be extraordinarily difficult. Wow. Jeff Glor in Venice, Louisiana. Thanks so much. Do appreciate it. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.